Hi everyone! I know it's been a while, but I am back with another 99 cents only store recipe. And today, we're going to be making some homemade crispy golden waffles. Yeehaw! Let's go inside the 99 cents only store and grab some ingredients. It looks like they're all out of the all-purpose flour, so I'm just going to grab me a bag of the baking flour instead. We'll also need some baking soda and baking powder. And while we're down this aisle, let's grab a box of sugar and a bottle of vanilla extract. Okay, let's turn the corner and grab a carton <coughs> of salt. Now let's head on over to the refrigerated section and grab a few more items. You see those green boxes there on the top left corner of the refrigerator? Those are frozen waffles and I'll show you what you can do with them at the end of this video. We'll also need some milk to make our homemade waffles, eggs, and butter. I usually buy the Bonnet brand butter at the 99 cents only store, but they're sold out today. So they only have the table made brand, uh, which is 99 cents as well. Or they have the farm best brand, which is actually $2.99. It comes in salted and unsalted. I'm also going to buy a package of ham and a package of sliced cheese. And those items will be used at the end of this video. I almost forgot. We also need to buy a can of cooking spray. I believe we have everything that we need, so it's time to head on home. Bye 99 cents only store. I love you. First thing we'll need to do is melt the butter. Place the butter in a small bowl and be sure to put a cover over the bowl. Otherwise, the butter will splatter all over the place and you have a huge mess to clean up in your microwave. You've been warned. Microwave the butter for 30 seconds, then remove it from the microwave, give it a stir, set it aside, and let it cool. Now moving on, we're going to make some buttermilk. Pour the milk into a bowl and microwave it for 45 seconds. Then add a little bit of apple cider vinegar to the milk. The 99 cents only store does not sell apple cider vinegar so you need to buy it at a regular supermarket. Then give it a few stirs and let it sit for about five minutes. In a medium mixing bowl, we're going to combine all of our dry ingredients. Let's add into the bowl the baking flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and sugar. Then whisk to combine everything. Now have two bowls ready. Crack two eggs and separate the egg yolks from the egg whites. Beat the egg yolks then add in the buttermilk. We're going to add a splash of vanilla extract and then add in the melted butter. Then we're going to sift the flour mixture. Make a well in the center of the dry mixture and then pour in the wet mixture. Whisk to combine everything and it is best not to overmix the batter. Once you no longer see any raw flour, then just stop right there. If you see some lumps in the batter, that's okay. Set the batter aside and let it rest for 20 to 30 minutes. After the batter has rested for 20 minutes, take the egg whites and using an electric beater, beat the egg whites into soft peaks. It should only take a few minutes to do this. Now gently fold in the egg whites and do not over mix it. Alright y'all, it's time to fire up the waffle iron. Preheat the waffle iron and set it on the lowest setting. 
the light has turned green. That means the waffle iron is ready. Let's spray the iron with some cooking oil. Then add the batter to the waffle iron. And my waffle iron takes about a cup of batter to fill it. Close the waffle iron and adjust the cooking time to whatever setting you want. The longer you cook your waffle, the darker and crispier it will be. Once the setting has been adjusted, flip the waffle iron over. It's going to take a few minutes for the waffle to cook, and you know it's cooking when you see all that steam coming out of the waffle iron. Once the ready light indicator has turned green, then turn the waffle iron over once again. Remove the waffle from the iron and then transfer it over to a cooling rack. I'm using a Belgian style waffle maker so the waffle comes out nice and thick. Just check out this waffle, it came out perfect. The waffle is best served immediately while it's still hot and crispy. If you want to make more waffles and serve them all at the same time, then place the waffles onto a baking sheet with a cooling rack. Put the waffles in the oven. Set the oven temperature to about 200 degrees and it'll keep your waffles warm while you go make some more. This recipe will make three waffles total, so I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of the batter to make two more. Here's my second waffle. Remember, before you pour more batter into your waffle iron, to turn the heat down to low. And then again, you'll need to spray it down with some cooking oil. Pour in the batter, close the lid, and then adjust the cooking time once again. And here is my third and final waffle. All three of the waffles turned out beautifully. Today I'm going to top my waffle with a dusting of powdered sugar. I'm going to add a pat of butter because butter makes everything better. And I'm going to also drizzle some yummy syrup all over my waffle. You think I'm done with the syrup? Oh heck no! Let's add some more. Now this is my completed waffle. Time to do a 360 on this baby. Look at the deep pockets on this waffle holding all those little pools of syrup. Yummo! This is so mouthwatering I can take it no more. It's time to take a bite. It has the crispy edges on the outside Yet, it's fluffy, soft, and tender on the inside. You can make your own homemade waffles and treat your whole family to a special Christmas morning breakfast. I ain't gonna say goodbye to you yet because I got a bonus video for ya. Remember the frozen waffles at the 99 cents only store? I'm gonna show you one way my family likes to eat them. So what you'll need from the 99 cents only store is a box of frozen waffles, a package of ham, and a carton of eggs. We're going to make us a waffle breakfast sandwich. Oh yeah! In a pan, add a little bit of oil and turn the heat on to medium high. Once the heat is hot, add an egg to the pan, cover it with a lid, and then reduce the heat to medium low. Cook the egg for about one minute and then remove the lid. Then add a slice of ham and cook the ham until it is browned on one side. Once it has browned on one side, flip the ham over and brown the other side as well. If you like, you can also add a slice of cheese on top of your ham. To add cheese or not to add cheese? That is the question, says Shakespeare. <laughs> So add the cheese, and once the ham has browned on the bottom side, it is done. 
cook the ham and cheese for about 30 seconds to a minute and then remove it from the pan. Place the lid back onto the pan and continue to cook the egg for about another minute. The total cooking time for the egg should be about 2 to 3 minutes. The egg is done. Let's transfer it to a plate. Place the frozen waffle into a bread toaster and toast the waffle until it is lightly brown. Pop goes the weasel. Aha! It's done! We can now assemble our waffle breakfast sandwich. Spread a little bit of butter on top of the waffle, then add your ham and cheese, and then your egg. Then sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Yep, that's how we do it at my house. If you want, you can add a second waffle on top of the egg, but I like to eat it just like this, open faced. This waffle sandwich is muy delicioso. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And don't forget to check out my Facebook page. Have yourself an awesome day, everyone. Till next time, I'll see you later, alligator. Bye!